We are now going to use systems to find the break point, or I prefer to call it the break even point. So the break even point is when the amount it costs to do something equals the cost the cost you charge to do it. For instance, if you were to make bicycles, there's some cost that's associated with making those bicycles. On the other hand, you then sell the bicycle and that's how much you charge for your services. So when these two are e equal, we say you break even. You don't make any profit, but you don't lose any money. For a particular example, we're going to look at a wood craftsman who makes children's desks. So he sells the desk for $60. His monthly fixed cost of operating the business are $3,500 and each desk costs $35 in material. So the blue is our revenue, that's how much we make, and our C is our cost, how much it charges. Our revenue is easy. If we make and sell X, if we sell X desks, we make $60 a desk. However, our cost function is a little more complicated than that. It costs us $35 per desk, and we have to spend $3,500 just on getting enough to make sure it works out. Or that's just our operating expenses. So that's fixed. Even if we make no bikes, we're going to spend this much on insurance, on building, on electricity, on the things like that. So this happens to be our answer for A. And this is our answer for B. Now we're going to jump to C. And I want you to notice our tick marks here. Going up the side, they are $500. Going across, they are 50 desks. And I did this for a particular reason, just to make this easier to graph. But I want to point out, we just graph this like anything else. We're going to start at 0, 0 for our revenue. If we don't sell any desks, we make no money. If we sell 50, we're going to be up at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, at $3,000. And if we sell 100, we'll be at... $6,000. And so we can quickly check that and we're ready to go. Our green line, on the other hand, starts all the way up at 3.5, but only goes up by 35 at a time. So 35 times 50 plus 3,500 puts us at 52 and a little bit. 52.50. So halfway up this mark right here. And if we draw this out, we'll see that eventually, it's not quite nice enough, eventually they cross. And it looks like they cross really close to this 150 graphically. But let's actually find out. So our answer to C is this graph right here where we're looking at where these two lines meet. When does the revenue match the cost? When does how much I make match how much I'm spending? Well, to solve this, we simply set the two equal to each other. So 60x equals 35x plus 3,500. We subtract 35x from both sides. Get 25x equals 3,500. Get that calculator out again. Divide it by 25, and we were really close. X is 140. So if I make and sell 140 bikes in a month, I'll break even. If I make and sell more than that, I'll make money. If I make and sell less than that, I'll lose money.